Uh. Okay, we're 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 going again. Okay then, and that's how you do a so. Uh, doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell that joke on this uh, enlightened <laughs> review of this particular movie. So um, anyway, I just love the shot of them just sitting all in, of all of them just sitting in the teepee and the planet crashing down behind them in the background. It's just like it's such a bittersweet ending. Well, it's it's so bittersweet that it's. It's like cherry flavored Coca Cola that <laughs> tastes like cough medicine. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, what I really you, liked if, about it yeah, yeah. is it, the, when the chips were down. And here's here's what I keep talking about with the movie. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the planet is a metaphor. It's you know the tides would obviously be affected, but mm -hmm. they weren't, or at least not that we know of. <laughs> mm -hmm. The main the focus is on this particular place and these particular people. The yeah, rest the, of the, the world. The movie is much more it's, about it's not an, it's, than it's it is not, plot. Yeah, it's not an it's not an apocalypse movie. Yeah, well, it, it technically it is. Well, it, well, it is, but it's a character driven apocalypse movie. It's not one of those like oh how the rest of the world will re will react to this. It just really sticks mainly to this small area and these in and these particular people, mm -hmm. and it it doesn't really. It, like you said before, the planet is really a metaphor, not exactly, you know, like a big... Th it's not like um, It's not uh, 2012. It's not uh, that to that type of a movie. It's not like, oh, exactly. look how much... Yeah, it's not, look how many... No, you know, look how, look at the stuff we can destroy. It's not that. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, um, yeah, so... Uh, it's like my Mr. Um, Sidbar 2 said, it's a metaphor. And so... Um, exactly. Yeah. It's, uh, some would say it's a little bit on the nose, but... The way it was just shot, it's like, oh god, damn it, mm -hmm. oh god, I, I, I just, I want to rub my nipples. It was so good. <laughs> and you have very big nipples to rub. <laughs> Thanks for letting people know, my friend. I, I didn't like even know that as a fact. Thank you for confirming. I was just taking a shot in the dark there. All anyway, right. well, they're not that big. They're reasonably big, but what the <laughs> fuck am I talking about? I, I'm just a big cinematography nut. I love like, oh, that's what you can do. It's it's so subtle and it's so it's French. <laughs> it's just French, like yes, it's it, French. It, it was very French. Yes. All right, so like, French. as the movie ends, the, the point I'm trying to make here is I was really impressed with how, as society and you know logic and sense unraveled, the person who just hated. Or not hated, I guess. Just didn't care about any of it. The nihilist of the group was the only one that had a solution that made sense. And her solution was sit there and wait for it. Because really, the the theme or the the moral of the story of this movie is when everything is hopeless, manic it's depressives hopeless. are right. Yeah, <laughs> when everything is like... wrong, manic depressives are right. Let me, let me finish because I really I really have been thinking about this one. When All everything right, right. is hopeless, it's just fucking hopeless. There's nothing you can do about it. Just sit there and accept it. But the and thing is, nothing has changed. Nothing. <laughs> like throughout <laughs> how horrible the movie got, nothing changed. No consequences were made. Yeah. They didn't show anything terrible like everything just went on they didn't say oh and without the earth the universe was meaningless no it was still meaningless with and without the earth and it was just that was the message of the movie that none of it mattered yes <laughs> nothing matters yes yeah i'm sorry i know that's negative but it's okay <laughs> i promise okay. each and every hey. one of you listening to this one day are going to die and you should know Horribly. that because no one enough. tells you that ever. <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is what my mom tells me every single day. You are a cunt. You were born a cunt. You have, I, was, I raised up a cunt and I raised up a stupid cunt. And one of these days, ho hopefully soon, you will die horribly in some horrible accident. Or if you don't die horribly in some horrible accident, you will die alone as an old, old man, alone, dying in your old shit in some crappy ghetto hospital. With no one, with no children. Well, you will have children, but there will be assholes who won't visit you on your last days of life. So fuck you. You're gonna die. You're gonna get forgotten, and your ashes will be. Well, no one is gonna. You're. You'll just be gone. You'll be in oblivion. You'll be dead. 
Nothing of you will exist at all. Everything of you will be forgotten from time, and then the earth will be, you know, the sun will expand, consume the earth. Every piece of art, architecture, everything that humanity is and ever was will be destroyed because humanity would have probably destroyed itself by the time or the, uh, the sun expands and destroys the earth. So just, so just, 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 just fuck you, my son. Fuck you. That's what my mom <laughs> says to me nearly every day. That's, love- that's that's quite a nice settlement. You should tell it your is. mother that you it, love her very much. I do. It's a it's like a um, a little thing every Russian person t- every Russian parent tells their kids. Yes, yes. Well, like what made me want to do this review among mm. other things was I was watching the three part three or four part video that Captain Logan and uh Real Manos and blows himself up dude did for pop culture yearbook mm-hmm. where they were talking about different movies from 2011 mm-hmm. and captain logan mentioned the other earth and the 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 main theme of that movie was that a parallel earth appeared in the sky and as the movie went on the characters that were very depressed and very you know hateful they grew to accept their circumstances and became much more positive people by the time the movie was over. So this movie really was the antithesis of that, from what yes. I can understand. And I'm going to watch The Other Earth, but this is, from what Captain Logan described, this is really the feel that it gave off. <laughs> um, and it's interesting, because they both came out in 2011, and they're both about another planet coming close to Earth. So it's a really interesting... And depressive people, and depressive people. Don't yes, and depressive people. So it's really interesting to see the complete opposite take, and I really am curious to watch that. So if mm, anyone has seen both of these, please, please leave a comment describing... Oh, we'll, actually, you know what? We'll, um, we'll both watch that movie, Earth, The Second Earth, and we'll do a, a, mirror, a mirror review on that movie. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, yeah we yeah. should totally do that. Yeah, indeed. Um, yeah, so, so anyway... Do, uh, so, so to end our review, let's hear some dead baby jokes. Uh, okay. Um, how do you make a dead baby float? I don't know. How well, do you first you get uh some ice cream, root beer, and a blender, and then you add the dead baby. Ah. You you don't know what a root beer float is, do you? I do. Oh, okay. Well, then that was not an appropriate reaction to that joke. No, I'm laughing on the inside. There's nothing inside of you. Yes. You're a barren, empty wasteland. You know me so well. I know, and I've only been talking to you for like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a feeling someone's going to kill themselves. So let's let's add this quick little... Well, okay, little well, just tag. to make sure... Oh, wait, just to make sure, let's hear another dead baby joke. Because I want to know that somebody died because of our... Review. No, no, no. Let, let me let me add this in all seriousness. <laughs> in all seriousness. People, all right, all right. don't feel depressed because your life has no meaning. I'm not going to compromise on that. You you do not matter. No, it, not at all. It is I, shocking like, how little you matter. You, you you don't matter at all. I mean, like... like no, no, you, you, you matter. You, you are but physical on a very substance. Well, you are, you are, you know, animated meat... With a very limited intelligence compared to the rest of the universe, and you know, sure, you, when you die, you will be forgotten, and no one will ever care about you. You know, unless you do something really great that will affect history, which is highly unlikely. But so yeah, you are useless, and um, you know, you're pathetic and useless, and no one will remember you and all that other fun stuff. But you know, cheer up. No, no, let me let me finish. All right. everything he said, without the cheer up. But it's okay because I guarantee you didn't feel depressed before watching this video, and well, it was still true then, anyway. Hmm. So you know, just just remember how you felt then, and you can still feel the same. But now you just have this accompanying knowledge that you don't actually matter. And if if you have to yeah, ignore yeah. You, you get didn't through your matter. day-to-day life, that's acceptable. But you shouldn't because it's not good to ignore the truth. Yes, you were you you were insignificant before you saw this review, and you're still insignificant after you've seen this review. So nothing's really changed. So, yeah, you're insignificant. Yeah, but it, but it's okay. It, yeah, it's okay. Else, it's fine. Yeah. All right. So so have have a good have a good time, everybody. And uh, yeah, the, yeah. That that I believe is is the end of of this very long review. So I doubt yes. that anybody that 
felt depressed from the first part of the video will continue watching now. <laughs> so bye. Bye.